Hi, man. How are you? Welcome to Croatia, first of all. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really great, really happy to be back. Uh, it's almost like a tradition now, being here at Ultra. Uh, yeah, this is one of the, the, one of the festivals I really look forward to to be here. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's Ultra. I'm part of the Ultra family, so I'm really happy to be here. You have closed last year, the whole Ultra. You are closing the first night tonight. How does it feel and how do you prepare for closing the first night of the main stage? Well, I'm really honest, you can prepare for that. Like, I'm really honest, like I haven't, I, I only prepared the intro and the outro and everything in between is just improvis, like I am, I like imp I improvis, what was the word? Improvise. Impro I improvise, I improvise it. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm I, like, I love to be here. I love to DJ, like people from so many different countries. So I have no clue what I'm gonna play, but it's, it's always like that. I love my job, I love to DJ and, I take the people on a journey and definitely gonna be a really good night. You made the comeback last year. Then you had the tour Rebels Never Die. How does it feel to have such a great comeback and have such a positive response from the public and from the crowd that you love and that loves you? How does it feel to ha enjoy that? It was the mo one of the most amazing feelings I ever experienced because you know I've been in by myself in the studio for like close to four years, making music, doing things and normally I make music, I test it out on a show, and from that point on I develop my music, and this was all by myself. So making a comeback with music that you never tested out before, having such a great response, like there's so many DJs that were like, yo, your new sound, it's great, and I even see the whole scene adjusting to my album, which I never expected. Like, I never made my album to, to, to see that, well, I made my album, this way because I really felt like it was like almost like a dedication to my own, my own childhood you know there was the dance music I I love to listen to and having such a big impact on the scene I never that I, that never came to my mind when I made the album you know like I never wanted to change dance music I just wanted to make this album because it meant a lot to me you know being by myself making this album and seeing the whole dance industry changing because of my album that's like almost like a dream come true. It's the best feeling ever. So that means you made a little bit of a risk. Do you think that it takes that risk to be great, to make a change, to make the waves in the electronic music industry that you've made? Do you think that is necessary for uh, a person, an artist, to grow? Well, if we talk about, it, it, like in, like if we talk about life in general, a risk is really important. You need somebody to take a risk. Mm -hmm. Really, if you look at Conor McGregor, he was the first guy in MMA that went boxing. Uh, he was the first guy who, who wins like in two different weight categories. He took a really big risk, but he changed the UFC forever. Dance music, a lot of DJs are playing safe. I hear the same music all over again. And sometimes when I listen to the radio, I have no clue which of my colleagues I'm listening to, because they all sound the same. I wanted to change that. Like, cause I'm not that kind of guy. Like I want every record I make myself. I don't look at my colleagues, I look at myself. I never made a follow up of Spaceman, which is my biggest song. Easy for me, go back in the studio, open the same synthesizer, make the same kind of synth melody and make another big record. I'm not that kind of guy. I always try to develop and take risks. And I'm really happy I put in that work for my album. Cause now like dance music is, I'm not saying like I change dance music in a certain way, but I, I, I'm really happy to hear from a lot of colleagues that I inspire them with the album to do something different. And well, that inspires me again to continue my journey. And I just make the music I love to hear on the main stage. And I'm so happy that so many people appreciate it. So you've definitely made a little bit of a change to your sound. How would you describe your new sound in 2023? Well, like, I've never been like in a, in, a, in a particular genre. When I started DJing, well, I started out as a hip hop DJ because I love turntablism and the, and the techniques of DJing. And that's how I started. And from that point on, I tried to develop my sound. I, I became more like a tech house progressive guy. But I always, one thing that always caught me and maybe, maybe it's because of my youth, you know, I was the biggest Tiesto and Armin van Buren fan. So I love trance music and I love the emotions that, that comes with trance music. Like the big breakdowns, the vocals and everything. And like, I, if you're a Hardwell fan, you can relate to this. Like you hear like the emotions in the, in the breaks. It can be big room, it can be techno, but I always try to implement a certain emotion that get people like, 
I, I love, you know what, you want to know one thing? I always try to describe it when I'm on stage, I want to feel invisible. Like I want to close my eyes and feel the emotion. And I think that's the emotion I want to give the crowd as well. Can be a big room techno sound, can be big room, can be progressive, but I, as long as I feel the, that kind of emotion, I'm happy. That's a hardwall record. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Enjoy. You. Good luck tonight. Good luck tonight. You're going to rock it. I'm, I, I don't doubt it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.